Welcome to Conversations. I'm your host, Mukhtadar Khan. Those of you who are coming to Conversations for the first time, please subscribe to the channel and ring the bell icon so you can get notifications of future videos that I post. Today's conversation is a video editorial. I want to summarize an article that I wrote for South Asian Voices called Gandhi, Taj Mahal, and the dangers of Hindu nationalism. I want to make the point that the rise of Hindu nationalism in India is threatening two of the most important pillars of India's national identity. One is Gandhi and his philosophy and his Hinduism, and the other is the culture, the syncretic culture of Hindustan, the values, the aesthetics that the Taj Mahal represents. If you go around the world and ask people to mention two things about India, those two things probably would be Gandhi and Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal for his beauty and for his association with love, and Gandhi for his non-violence and his commitment to Satyagraha, that is, the path of truth. Gandhi's values have been emulated worldwide. Martin Luther King in the United States was a disciple of Gandhi. But today, we are seeing a struggle in India's culture, in India's polity, for a different kind of India. Hindu nationalists want to move away from a secular, pluralistic and democratic India to create a Hindu exclusivist and majoritarian state. And the two things that are standing in the way of creating an exclusivist Hindu state is the philosophy of Gandhi and the beauty of the Taj Mahal. Gandhi believed in Ahimsa and Satyagraha. Today, Hindu nationalists are trying to spread false narratives about India's past. And Gandhi's adherence to truth undermines that. Today, they want to undermine India's pluralism and Gandhi's inclusivist Hinduism, which ultimately uh, impacted India's commitment to secularism, democracy, and pluralism, is also a threat to exclusivism. And so there is an attempt now to erase Gandhian values from India. And the way it is being done is by resurrecting the assassin of Gandhi, Nathuram Gorse. There are members of the Hindu nationalist movement who are treating him as if he's a national hero. He was a terrorist, and that's how he ought to be remembered. But they are now treating him as a national hero. They are building temples to Nathuram Gorse. In the city of Gwalior, there is a supposedly a museum that is being named after him, and members associated with the group Hindu Mahasabha are now celebrating his birthday as a national holiday. There is an attempt to rewrite history in which Gandhi is, is being portrayed as a danger to India because he was friendly to his Muslims, and Nathuram Gorse as a hero who tried to save India from Gandhi and Gandhian values. The Taj Mahal stands and represents the syncretic culture of Hindustan, which thrived simultaneously with what is also understood as the golden age of Islam in India. During the early Mughals, especially during the age of Akbar, Jahangir, and Shah Jahan, the two religions and the two faiths co-mingled. Co India's culture was inspired by all those who lived in India at that time. Taj Mahal stood for this syncretic culture. Today, in the state in which the Taj Mahal is located, the chief minister of that state wants to remove the Taj Mahal as an icon that represents India. He claims that Taj Mahal does not represent India. He wants to rename it. There are members of his party who want to call it Ram Mahal. Uh, they are removing it from uh, the brochures of tourism. But when Trump went there, the chief minister of Uttar Pradesh had no hesitancy in presenting Donald Trump with a photograph, a framed photograph of the Taj Mahal. So when it suits their needs, they do rely on the glory of the past. But then they demonize that same glory in order to garner words or radicalize the population. Taj Mahal and Gandhi are representatives of an India that everybody in the world respects. The attempt to undermine both of this is an attempt to undermine 
India undermine its culture. And let me tell you that it will not be received uh, happily internationally. People all over the world will be shocked and they are already shocked at the images that are coming out of India. This is Muqtadar Khan. This editorial was based on an article that I wrote for South Asian Voices. The link to that article, Gandhi, Taj Mahal and the dangers of Hindu nationalism are in my uh, video description below. You can go and read the article. Uh, please subscribe to the channel and if you like it, do share it with your friends and in your networks. This is Muqtadar Khan, wishing you all the best. Bye.